If you've decided to rent versus own because you think it's cheaper, it might not be in the long run. There are tax benefits to owning a home that can really add up. And real estate expert TJ Larson is here to tell us all about them. How are you Hi, doing? TJ. Good to see you. Oh, what are some areas where I can save on my taxes by simply owning a home? Well, you've got write-offs and you've got itemized deductions. So ownership allows you to qualify for those deductions. Ah, so what kinds of things can I write off? There's a lot of them. Uh, interest payments are probably the biggest. Uh, taxes is another. Mortgage insurance, that's got an income limit cap on it. Uh, home equity lines of credit. Uh, if you've got discount points, that's when you buy your rate down. You know, if you take a new job and it's 50 miles away and you have to move because of that job, you mm -hmm. can even write off some moving expenses. Wow, so how much can I actually write off? Because we could go a little crazy. The, you could, <laughs> you could, and there are limits. I'm gonna kind of note three right now. Uh, Interest deductions. You are only allowed to write up interest deductions up to a million dollars in debt. So if you've got a two million dollar home and a two million dollar mortgage on it, I'm sorry, but that last million you're not going to be able to write oh, off man. that interest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to totally miss that million. I know. I know. Home uh, home equity lines of credit. You can write those off up to the interest on those up to a hundred thousand dollars. If you're over a hundred thousand dollars on what we call a HELOC or home equity line of credit, you're not going to be able to get those uh, deductions. And then real estate property taxes. Fortunately, you can write those off in their entirety. Wow, and how do I get my tax benefits back? There are two ways. Uh, you can get it back in the form of a refund check at the end of the year. This would not be what I would advise. Uh, you can file a W-4 with your mm -hmm. employer and they can change the amount of your withholding. What that translates to is you show them the de deductions for your home and they will pay you more at the end of every month or whenever your payment period is. And this way you're not giving a loan to Uncle Sam. Okay, so suppose I have a $200,000 dollar home. Okay. What can I expect in savings? Okay, well there's a lot of variables on this, but let's just assume for a moment that you're in a 28% tax bracket uh, and you're going to borrow $200,000. Now, you've got principal and interest payments. On a loan of that size, we're gonna factor about $800 going towards interest because in a 30-year amortization, most of your payment at the very beginning is just the interest carry on that loan. So 200 goes to taking away the principal. Of that $800 times 0.28, we come up with a savings of two hundred twenty-four dollars. Now the next thing is going to. I feel be like your, I need to do, do my math. Okay, <laughs> ten, ten, four. It'll all make sense in a second. <laughs> the good news is at the end I'm just going to say just buy one, and so it'll work Yay! out just fine. Um, taxes. You know that we can deduct everything on uh, on taxes. So on uh, in Charlotte Mecklenburg, two hundred thousand dollar house, two hundred dollars a month. So we've got about a fifty-six dollar savings there. So your total monthly cost by the time you put all that together, twelve hundred bucks. But we're going to get deductions of around three hundred dollars. We actually end up at about nine hundred and twenty on this. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a rental and you're saying you know I've got a thousand dollar a month rental mm -hmm. I'm looking to buy this home my god it's twelve hundred dollars a month I've got sticker shock you may mm -hmm. actually find it's cheaper to buy that home Wow one thing I would say is though I'm not a tax professional I'm a real estate agent so everything that I'm saying here run this by your account run this by yeah, your CPA that's a great idea you know I my, I've had my home on the market for nearly two years someone watching please buy my house <laughs> but what kind of tax benefits can I expect from the sale of a home well Hopefully, you've made tons of money on that. So the biggest, have all right, you, just you know, work with me. It's TV live TV. I can't have you go <laughs> off script here. <laughs> the, the good news is if you've made a lot of money on that home, your profits from that home are not taxed. So if you're single, you get up to $250,000 of profit that is not taxed and there are no capital gains. Couples filing jointly, you're up to a half a million dollars. A couple of things that you need to be aware of there, you need to have lived in that home as a primary residence for two of the last five years. I have done that. Wonderful, then you're good, so you can collect your $250,000. Thank you very much, thank you TJ. Thanks. Some great information there. You can check out his website, mytownhome.com.